Hello everybody and welcome to Kassen 3, the only decent Kassen game. And unfortunately the last Kassen game to be made. Now just making sure everything is set up in the options. And this game has a somewhat different portrayal of Nobunaga than you might be used to in video games. But first... Fail. You will not stop me. Run! Ah! Understood! Sorry, Ron Maru, not even being in this game will save you. My lord's dream. It will not end. It will go on. For. You had fulfilled your dream. You were wrong. Your dream ends here forever. I know this shrine well. I suspect better than anyone. Dreams are reality. Reality is like the dream of a butterfly. But then, in chaos, neither dreams nor reality exist. There is no destiny.
Or we're in the part of the game that I like to call Nobunaga and friends. What we just saw was Nobunaga's assassination at Honoji Temple, but we've got a bit to play through before we get there. Fire. Ravenous flames. Deadly, purified flames. I've been here before. At my very first battle. The princess is not in this village! Widen the search! If we don't find her, Lordy Magawa is sure to have our heads! Jumping into a raging fire like that, how foolish can you be? And this is what gave the thread its title. My, my lord! lord we fear for your safety! So you're her guard, huh? The rest is up to you. Come now! Can't you even protect one little girl? You call yourself a man? Stop it. This is our world. Okay? Worthless people fight and die for worthless ambition. The ones who did this cannot be far. We will search them out and punish them. You must not. You're still young. You must not put yourself in such danger. Don't concern yourself with that. Let's go. My lord. Be fun. I, I will do my best as well. Idiots. The little fools don't know the first thing about fighting. Let's go! Okay, for our first battle, we're just going to be controlling Nobunaga, because this is intended to just teach us the controls of attacking and defending and skills and whatnot. Victories Every samurai has officer skills which are like debuffs and attacks and this magic and uh, whatnot. And they uh, increase in uh, power through use. So, Kassan 3 is a rather interesting sort of game in uh, terms of its general setup because it's sort of an action strategy RPG kind of game. I haven't really played any game quite like it. The fighting is uh, done uh, almost in a kind of beat-em-up style. But uh, there's equipment, there are officer skills, and even troop skills, uh, like the charge for cavalry. Depending on which of uh, the uh, troop types uh, commander is equipped with. Attack! It can be kind of a deep game if you uh, really Next want to time, delve into all of uh, the uh, secondary mechanics. Turn. Right now we're only controlling the one unit. So, let's talk a little bit about... Uh, Nobunaga. Nobunaga was seen as a bit of an eccentric and a little bit of an idiot. Among uh, other things, he actually liked to hang out uh, with commoners uh, from time to time, uh, doing, I guess, no, whatever chance. teenagers did in the uh, Sengoku period. And he was also known as something of a lout. Like, uh, when his father died, uh, he acted outrageously, doing things like throwing incense around at the uh, altar and whatnot. So, uh, his, uh, etiquette, uh, tutor... I think his name was, uh, Herate Masahide... ...was so ashamed of Nobunaga's, uh, behavior at the funeral that, uh, he actually killed himself. 
which actually did uh, straighten out uh, Nobunaga for a while afterwards. The uh, four pips by uh, Nobunaga's troop count are actually uh, his skill use uh, meter, and uh, each uh, officer skill costs you uh, anywhere from one to all four. These recharge over time. Attack. Now to squash these rats. Troops from the body are moving to attack us. Fools. Now Nobunaga's uh, troop type uh, is uh, horsemen, which are kind of uh, the, I guess you would say, uh, glass cannons of uh, the game. They have a really high attack, they have a powerful charge as their troop skill. However, I, they have uh, the uh, lowest defense of any um, melee-oriented uh, unit in the game, so you need to really work on setting up charges to destroy enemies quickly. And here's the enemy commander. Nobunaga, the time for you to die has come. And he's using spear units, which are basically the opposite of uh, what we're using. Spear units are very high defense, very solid infantry uh, melee. But let's plow through him because there's an item back here. There are items you can pick up on the battlefield. Usually equipment or troop types or any other uh, sorts of things that you can apply to your generals. The commanders here aren't too much trouble for us. You're just learning the game at this point, so they're not going to have the enemy throw around bunches of officer skills and whatnot. Yeah, sometimes uh, when it comes to obstacles, your units can actually be a bit cumbersome to maneuver around. But hey, we trashed the bad guys, all we need to do is wreck their camp. And that's it for Battle 1. Impossible. My skills are second to none. I could have ended it about here, but I wanted to show you guys something resembling what uh, actual battle Celebrate! tends to be like Victory in this game. Is ours! By the way, Nobunaga is voiced by Crispin Freeman in this game. Battle summary is pretty self-explanatory. You're ranked on enemy troops killed, your own troops lost, the time it took for you to win, and how often you hit with your uh, troop skills. And uh, you get a bonus item at A rank and an extra one at S rank. And in this case, I got a spear for my generals and an extra soldier type. Plus the items I found on the battlefield. And Nobunaga has gained a couple of levels. Now the trick with Nobunaga is that he's actually generally going to be the most powerful unit you have on the field. So you're going to have to keep him from hogging all the kills, and the other danger with Nobunaga is that if Nobunaga is defeated, you lose instantly. The enemy ranks are starting to crumble. It won't be long before the entire country is ours! <laughs> Don't be a fool. This was nothing but a little skirmish. My lord, it's all your fault. You dress like that and give him stupid ideas. Don't shut up! I'm sick of hearing that! <laughs> Still, I have to agree with Yoshinari. Fighting insignificant rabble is a waste of time. I'll fight to end the chaos and the fighting. This world will know peace! I swear it! Oh, Nobunaga, your matchlock is a matchlock that will pierce the heavens. Oh, why, that 
that little worried brat. Thanks to him, that little girl from Mino got away from me. How dare he have the gall to interfere with my plans? I shall have to think carefully about how to repay him. Portugal, Spain. The great powers of Europe had entered a period of exploration and expansion. In Japan, both little and great lords joined in battle to decide the fate of their clans. The ruling Ashikaga shogunate lacked the power to control the lords, and in the fighting and plundering, the common people suffered and died. The Warring States. The common people dreamt of a savior, a hero who would save them from the fighting. Owari. This land, situated in the center of Japan, was also the center of the fighting. Here, small lords fought for control, while across the border, the larger powers of Saito and Imagawa looked eagerly on for a chance to make it their own. Amidst this cauldron of war, the Oda clan sought to gain powerful allies by arranging the marriage of the legitimate heir, Nobunaga, to the princess of the neighboring Mino, a so-called political marriage. Both parties agreed, and the day of the wedding drew near. They say she's good with a sword. Yes. Apparently she started learning early. They say she took to it. She is your new bride. But it would pay to be careful. You might wake up without a head someday. My lord, I understand what you're going through. <laughs> well, what can you do? She is the daughter of the Viper, after all. Huh? You must move out immediately! The wedding party from Mino is in danger! They were attacked by Nobukio Oda! They're in need of help! Wonderful start this is. Come on, it's time to ride! My lord, the battle does not always go to the strong. Knowing the situation and the lay of the land is vital. Shall I explain the war council to you? Okay, so before each actual battle... All right, allow me to describe the situation. We will win if we defeat the enemy commander. If any of our allies are routed, we will have lost. The enemy commander, Nobukiya Oda, has drawn up his troops in this area. Not forgive this attack on our Lord's bride. They shall pay with their lives. My Lord, how shall we deploy for this battle? Okay, so before each actual battle, you get to uh, choose uh, who you deploy and uh, where in uh, your deployment areas, as well as issue initial orders as to uh, where they should be going and what their general behavior should be. Right now we only have uh, the four commanders and uh, Nobunaga and uh, Yoshinari Mori's uh, position has already been set. You also get to uh, change equipment but I don't really have anything I can equip people with right now so we'll just give it our best at this point. Understood. With this, we can all concentrate on fighting. Our council is at an end. You all know what you have to do. Now go! Sir! Now is our chance to finish them! Charge them! Oh! 
Okay, so the Viper they're referring to is actually Dosan Saito, who was the head of the Saito at this time and actually ar arranged uh, the uh, marriage between uh, Nobunaga and uh, Kicho as part of a truce between the Oda and the Saito. Dosan himself was a rather interesting character because he was actually originally a merchant who managed to maneuver his way into becoming a uh, daimyo by managing to oust the previous rulers of uh, uh, Mino province. Now, at this point, uh, now I can generally trust the AI to uh, fight well enough independently while I have uh, Nobunaga and Yoshinari move forward and uh, deal with uh, the enemies on this side. At least at this point in the game, you can count on the AI to be able to just plow through uh, enemy units. But that will change relatively uh, shortly. Generally, guys will fight better if you control them. What happened just now? See, Toshie is having no trouble whatsoever. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, having Toshi uh, go up at the other end to search for any items, because I definitely remember there being one up there. This... this is not good. Where is my lady? Nobunage can take care of himself. Now, Toshie is actually backed up by uh, Nagahide, who has a ranged unit, which are the uh, bomb throwers, which are also sappers, which means they can break down uh, palisades or towers more easily than most units. Now, normally you can uh, call on the ranged units to fire, but for some reason Nagahide wasn't responding. Those that value your lives, out so of I decided to show off something else. Rampage Mode is a skill that all officers have that allows them to dive in and, and do these uh, little uh, action sequences. Where you can uh, cut down some enemy troops, gain some extra experience, uh, gold, gain some troops back, and even more importantly, actually uh, confuse enemy units if you pick up the right items off of uh, the Rampage field. What confusion uh, does is that it actually stuns a unit for a number of seconds equal to the amount of uh, confusion you uh, picked up. Also, when you kill enough to of thought. the regular soldiers, the enemy commander will come out to duel you. And if you defeat them, uh, and you, f you defeat a named enemy commander in a rampage, you get a boost to... Uh, your officers a lower stat, raise their condition, and lower the enemy officer's condition. What condition uh, governs is how fast your uh, officer skill pips uh, recharge. So plowing over uh, enemy officers like this is uh, a good way to keep them uh, from using their skills as much as you're able to use yours. However, duels will get harder later in the game as we start encountering the actually tough officers. Now, this isn't really a historical battle, but a consolidation of the fact that Nobunaga actually had to fight off quite a few of his relatives before he was finally accepted <laughs> as uh, the leader of the uh, Oda clan. The reason this is called the Battle of Inuyama is because Nobukiya Oda, the opposing uh, commander in this battle, was actually one of was actually the Lord of Inuyama Castle. 
However, he wasn't really ousted from his position by Nobunaga until after the Battle of Okahazama. And as we can see, Nobunaga utterly trashed uh, the uh, two units he was fighting. And we got that hidden item, so I'm sending Toshie back to help out Nobunaga. Even though Nobunaga can very easily trash the uh, remaining enemies. And positioning is rather important, because if you have too many units piled up in one place, they'll actually get in each other's way, so... Maneuver is still pretty vital. So is aiming your troops in the right direction to smash things. Nobunaga, your dream is about to become a nightmare! Yoshinari Mori uses uh, katana troops, uh, which have a rather unique skill, which is the death wheel when it's not being interrupted by Nobunaga cavalry charging through everything I try to do. It's actually more of a defensive uh, troop skill, which can be used uh, if you're able to gain some space while you're uh, surrounded to do a lot of damage to anything around you. It's a bit tough to maneuver when it's active, though. Oh, and there's Nagahiti throwing bombs into everybody. Still, no problem for us. She's too fast! No! Stupid outfit. I am Kicho, my lord. As was agreed, I present myself to you. I know you. That time it... Huh. I believe this may work out. Kicho! Yep. What happened just now? The battle is over. Everybody, you fought well. That's the way Kisen wants to tell it. Though Kicho was not actually uh, Nobunaga's favorite, for reasons that I'll be talking about later when they become appropriate uh, to the story. And we got more spears, good armor, and a talisman. Hold on, where was it? Yeah, down. Oh, okay. Yes, I want to save the game after that. I've taken care of my side. Huh? Where's our lord? <laughs> Where's he going? Idiot. Don't ask such stupid questions. Just think about it a bit. Oh. Yeah, Nagahide was actually one of Nobunaga's most trusted and confident commanders, but in this game they made him a bit of a doof for uh, some reason or another, I don't even know. A few years after the marriage of Nobunaga and Kicho, 
Lord Oda dies, leaving young Nobunaga in control of the Oda clan. However, believing Nobunaga to be a dreaming fool, the retainers leave and offer their services to the Imagawa clan. Soon, the outlook for the Oda clan and its young Lord Nobunaga turn bleak. Good. Very good. I am glad that it meets with your approval. Yes, the crop of potatoes was nice and fat this year, and the taste is outstanding. Mm. 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 Nagahide, why don't you go ahead and eat? Oh, one betrayal after another. The Imagawas are just across the border. Shouldn't we be doing something about it? It's better to know who our enemies are, and our friends for that matter. Don't worry, Potato Samurai. Potato? <laughs> That's a good one. Always worried, Potato Samurai. <laughs> huh? Hmm, Hojo fell for it. Now we can rid ourselves of the Imagawa. The time has come to take control of Owari. Okay, a couple of things. Potato Samurai is an actual slur, but it comes from around the time of the Boshin War, the goals of which the is Oda well clan, away from where plans. we are. Shall I explain the planning process? And secondly, Nobunaga using diplomacy. Don't get used to it. So anyway, this is the screen where we buy stuff from the merchant or... Uh, change things with our uh, officers and also where we select our battles but I will be tackling uh, the functions of that screen next time in Kassen 3 where we finally sort things out in our home ground squash some people recruit some others it'll be good fun times I will be seeing you then and bye.